Welcome to this video. At this point you have created your very first Padlet, you've adjusted the settings for that Padlet, and now you're ready to share that with your students. Let me show you how to get this information to your students so they can start to participate in this activity. First of all, if you have left Padlet, maybe you started the Padlet yesterday and, and, fin and now you're coming back to finish it, when you log in you'll see this dashboard here and you can click on your um, Padlet that you created to, to get to this point. Now, when you see this, I have added my column headings um, for this particular setup. You, yours may or may not have columns, uh, depending on how you decide to use Padlet. But what you're looking for here is this share button in the top right. Once you click on share, then you'll see the settings that you're looking for. Here, I tend to use the secret setting, which just basically means no one can find this unless they have the link. Um, you could also do password protected and you get to pick your password, but then that's that's just something else you have to get to the students and write on the board and um, kind of another step, but you can do that as well. So either secret or password protected um, would be your best friends. You want those with access to be able to write on your board um, so that it can be interactive. I would skip the contributors here because that would mean you would need to put in all of your students' emails. So I would skip that and just let anybody that gets the link um, have the ability to write and then down here at the very bottom the moderation the moderation might be a great idea that just means that every post needs to be approved by you before it shows up on the board so that might keep you a little busy um, with your computer clicking yes 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 but um, you know it it may be a good idea if you're working with teenagers and allowing them to post on there um, I'm gonna turn mine off for right now then when you get to this point up at the very top, you'll notice that you have two tabs, the people and privacy, and then the share, export, embed tab. When you click on share, export, embed, basically this is your best friend. Um, this is you, what allows you to get this Padlet into the hands of your students. So you could do this a couple of different ways. You could print out this QR code and on a piece of paper and tape it on the wall. Um, you could put this, a link to this Padlet right on your Google Classroom, which is perfect um, but basically all you really need is you need this URL that's all you really need to be able to give this to your students so you could just copy this URL right here you could write it on the board you could zoom in on it on your projector so they could see it um, but basically what you need is to put it somewhere where they can get it. So you have an option to copy it right here and you could paste it on your teacher website or you could put it right on your Google Classroom. However you wanna get that link to your students, that's how you would share this activity with your class.